It's easy to look at someone else's creation and say, I could have built that. And yes, perhaps after seeing it, if you've got the skills, you may be able to fabricate a close approximation. But if you think that's what it takes to create a great custom bike, then sadly you're only seeing half the picture. And yes, I do understand you may have oil stained hands and the grime of hundreds of stripped engines and bikes permanently under your fingernails. But having a vision of how to then bring a bike back to life as a unique, creative one of a kind, well, that's reserved for a different sort of builder and some would say is almost magical. Sasha Lekic, founder of Blackstar and creator of this bike, definitely falls into the master bike designers category. But you may be thinking, why are you motor guzzy? Or indeed, why are you greaso? Well, the answer's simple, as you only need to look at the finished product to understand why. It's often noticed that looking to the past to design the future can provide classic design inspiration. And the most iconic motor guzzy is arguably the 70s styled 850 Le Mans. This project wasn't designed to be a modern day replica, but was definitely intended to tap into its spirit, resulting in a track focused cafe racer that's been dialed up to 11. Styling's clearly been kept slick and minimalistic, with its bodywork shaped to emphasise the two main features of the machine its frame and, of course, engine and is clearly a continuation of Blackstar's values of building functional machines with unique and elegant aesthetics. But this time with a little twist to make it still very cafe, but definitely more racer. But why do I find this bike in particular so interesting? To be honest with you, I'm not at all sure. Perhaps it's because of the bike's origins. Or could it be this, the Motor Guzzi Grizo? Although having many qualities that lends itself to the creation of a custom bike, it's definitely not a bike that gets laid bare to produce a project like this Cafe Racer. And that's what makes it the perfect, unobvious choice for a design like this. In 2016 in Luxembourg, Blacktack Motors was born from a combination of the emotion and technology that motorbikes inspire. And with a passion deeply rooted in the world of cafe racers, Le Kick decided to make his own greatest dreams come true, with the creation of his first bike, the BT-01 Custom Cafe Racer. The donor bike was an old, half-dismantled Honda CX-500 that he found in his friend's garage. Captivated by the unique look of the Honda's engine, he set out to transform it into a modern sleek cafe racer and since then has never looked back, creating a string of bikes leading to his latest venture, this, the BT-05 Cento, that pays homage to 100 years of motor guzzy. At its heart is a rumbling, four-valve V V-twin engine from the motor guzzy Grizo. A big block mill like this offers the perfect starting point for performance and presence. Blacktrack, not being happy with the standard engine, decided to optimise power and torque. So the engine was bored to increase capacity from 1,151cc up to 1,382cc. Stripping away a host of unnecessary clutter to leave not a lot of the original bike was of course a necessary part of the build. And replacing it with carefully selected and purpose-built components was always at the back of Le Kick's mind. This simplistic approach not only resulted in one of the best looking guzzy cafe racers I've ever seen, but has also shaved a whopping 50 kilograms from the bike's overall weight leading to a meaner, faster and lighter machine than was originally conceived. Now as we said earlier, most people probably wouldn't think about using a Grizo as a project bike. But with that said, I do have a question for you. 
what is the perfect donor bike and what would you use? Anyway, drop us your thoughts on it in the usual place. If you've enjoyed today's bike, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And for more reviews like this, sub if you want. Thanks for watching. My name's Bobby Max. I'm out of here.